To get multiple cameras streaming from one instance of Unreal Engine 5.2, here's what you gotta do. We're gonna go to plugins. We're gonna enable pixel streaming, just that, not the player. We're gonna restart. And then we're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call it pixel streaming stuff. We're gonna create a new blueprint. The blueprint is gonna be based on the scene capture 2D thing. <laughs> and we'll call it BP Streamy. And we're gonna open that guy up. And in here, we're gonna add a component. And that component is gonna be called Streamer Component. And it's gonna say Pixel Streamer. And that's great. And over in the event graph, on begin play, we're going to pull off of here and we are going to start the stream. Then over here for scene capture, we are going to need a texture target. So we're going to go ahead and create a new render target. Save. And things are probably going to look pretty dark by default. So under global illumination, let's go ahead and enable lumen. Under reflections, we probably don't need reflections in here. So let's just set that to none. Up in lens, let's go to exposure and let's bump up the exposure compensation to four. And in the pixel streaming streamer component, we have to give this a streamer ID. So how about camera one? And if we're thinking this is film, a FPS of 24 is fine. And for a video input, we're going to go ahead and create a render target streamer video input. And we will call it, not this giant long name, let's call it video input underscore 01. And that's there. And then we open that guy up and we're going to make sure that this is also targeting stream target 1. And now we have that blueprint. We're going to drop that into our scene and we're going to pilot it and pick another angle that we think we might want to get our action from. And then maybe we duplicate this a few more times. And each of those will need their own target and video input. So we can go ahead and duplicate this a few times with Control D. And you'll see they'll rename automatically as long as you've got those underscores. And each of these will also need their own targets. And that's it. Now when you press build, you should see something like this. For more information, see my much more long and rambly tutorial.